the just revealed Kia EV6 is a high-performance all-electric compact crossover. In this video, I'll perform a side-by-side -side comparison with the reigning champion of that segment, the Model Y. We'll take a look at the exterior, interior, tech, performance, and pricing, and we'll find out if Tesla has met its match. The Tesla Model Y was unveiled in March 2019, and it has quickly established itself as a range and performance benchmark for the electric compact crossover class. But now we have just seen the reveal of the Kia EV6. It comes in multiple battery sizes, trims, and performance levels, including the top of the line GT. But before we get to a comparison of the performance, let's take a look at the design. A quick production note, as Tesla has not provided video footage of the Model Y, in some shots I'll be using video footage of the similar Model 3. The Model Y features the smooth slippery styling that matches its sibling, the Model 3. Features like the fastback line of the roof, the flush door handles, and the spoiler are all designed to improve the aerodynamics of the car and result in an impressive drag coefficient of 0.23. When you compare the exterior dimensions of the two, the Model Y is a few inches longer and taller. The Kia EV6 finds its design roots in Kia's new slogan, Movement That Inspires. This car is designed to evoke an emotional reaction. The low-slung posture, along with the digital tiger face, give it a menacing look. Compared to the Model Y, though, the Kia adds detailing to the exterior. There's a line that starts at the base and rises up into the rear light cluster. The roof seems to float, aided by this detail where the body of the car appears to meet the roof but stops just short. A rear spoiler adds to the drama while providing aerodynamic benefits. Sequential LED lights add to the sense of motion. While the minimalist design aesthetic of the Model Y certainly has its appeal, in my opinion, it's the details of the EV6 that make it a far more interesting design. And just like on the outside, on the inside, details matter too. When it first came out, the minimalist interior of the Tesla Model S was jaw-dropping in its simplicity and clean design. But that aesthetic has been even further simplified and reduced as it was brought into the Model 3 and Model Y. Despite touches like the wood trim, the resulting look feels stark and cold. The Model Y does not have a dashboard, but instead consolidates the instrument cluster and infotainment screen into this freestanding 15-inch tablet. The interior of the EV6 is minimalist too, but again, it's the details that make a difference. The console and dashboard are tilted just slightly towards the driver, breaking up the rigidity of the dash. There's a central console that appears to float and has a delicate line of ambient lighting that jumps over the start button. A two-tone steering wheel, ambient lighting, contrast stitching, and accent colors bring life to the interior. The instrument cluster screen and infotainment screen are integrated into a single curved glass element. Both interiors are committed to sustainability with Tesla's vegan leather and Kia seats made of recycled PET bottles and eco-processed leather. But while the Model Y's interior comes only in black or white, in the EV6, you get these knockout suede sport bucket seats with neon trim for the GT. And the Kia also offers these relaxing seats designed to optimize body pressure distribution for comfort. But not all is bad with the Model Y's interior. One feature I really like is the full-length glass roof, and as far as I can tell, the EV6 does not offer that. Another notable distinction is that if you are looking for a 7-seater, only the Model Y offers that option. And if cargo space is important for you, the Model Y offers quite a bit more. So exterior and interior design may not be the strong suit of the Model Y, but let's get to one of its strengths, technology. Both the Model Y and EV6 come with the standard suite of safety and assistive driving technologies. Tesla does have the lead with autopilot, offering features like being able to take freeway off ramps and the use of the summon feature. And we've all seen pretty impressive videos of the full self-driving feature, which, despite its name, is only a level 2 feature and costs a pretty penny. Kia's assistive technology will change lanes and decelerating curves 
in addition to maintaining distance and centering in lane. But while Tesla may have the lead with self-driving, the Kia is also pretty impressive when it comes to tech features. For one, it has 800 volt charging architecture, which in theory allows it to use a faster 350 kilowatt charger as compared to Tesla's 250 kilowatt supercharger. With that said though, no other company can match the extensive charger network that Tesla has. Then there's the vehicle to load technology that Kia offers and Tesla doesn't. This allows you to use your vehicle as a power source to power your home or other electrical devices. In that same vein is the augmented reality head-up display that the EV6 offers, but not the Model Y. So that brings us to performance where Tesla is known for its advantage in range and speed. The EV6 comes in two battery sizes, 58 kilowatt hour and 77 kilowatt hour usable, and each is available in rear wheel drive or all wheel drive. Tesla doesn't divulge its battery size, but EV database estimates it to be 72.5 kilowatt hour usable. So for this comparison, we'll focus on the EV6's long range battery. The Model Y comes in two trims, long range and performance, both in all wheel drive configuration. For the long range Model Y, the WLTP range is 505 kilometers. For the Kia, at this early stage, we have only one number for the larger battery, and that is 510 kilometers. But keep in mind that it is for the rear wheel drive model. If we estimate a 5 to 10% drop for all wheel drive, that puts the range between 460 to 485 kilometers, which, while not as high as the Model Y, is still pretty close. The Model Y performance range is 480 kilometers, which is 5% less than the long range. The EV6 trim comparable to the Model Y performance is the GT. As I'll show you, the performance specs of these two are very close, so I would expect a similar 5% reduction in the range of the EV6 GT as compared to the non-performance version. This brings the GT's estimated range to between 440 and 460 kilometers. Again, less than the Model Y, but not too far off. And speaking of performance, when it comes to 0 to 100 times, these two are within fractions of one another. It's pretty impressive to see how Kia has matched the performance and come so close to Tesla's range numbers. But can it compete on price? I'll look at the pricing for the German market as we have numbers for both manufacturers there. And we'll start with the top of the line. The Model Y Performance and the EV6 GT are incredibly priced within just a few hundred euro of one another. We have pricing for the GT line long range rear wheel drive that we can use to compare against the Model Y long range. If we were to estimate a few thousand euro additional for all wheel drive, that would bring it right in line with the Tesla. So has the Model Y met its match with the EV6? Absolutely. Kia has done an impressive job of eroding Tesla's lead in technology and performance and managed to create a very appealing design inside and out for similar pricing. And that's even before you consider quality issues that Tesla is notorious for. In a 2020 JD Power initial quality survey, Tesla ranked last among 32 manufacturers. Guess which manufacturer ranked first? Kia! Let me know in the comments below which one you would buy. Please give the video a like, share your comments below and subscribe to the driver download.